Welcome back, everybody. I'm Happy Tangent, and this is Vampire Part. Oh, God, who knows? 28, I believe. Let's go with 28. And uh, we happen to be in the cemetery because I wasn't too happy with the fact that we were still missing the migraine and the headache medicine. So, I don't like doing it, but I went ahead and looked up how I get those because it seems strange to be getting these higher tiered uh, other things and not still having that medicine and I do have a uh, citizen in particular who looks like he has three stacks of things and I can't cure his first one blocking it so I looked it up uh, not like I said not happy about it but I, I kinda wish this game would have had almost a not not impassable not like a like a hundred percent you couldn't miss it but this just seems like too easy of a miss basically we had our Dorothy Crane situation where she's dead now which you think if anything maybe I kill her I unlock her chest I get the recipes well it turns out it sounds like you get the recipes had she you know had I kept her alive but there was one other way to get the recipes and the thing is I wish there was some sort of like bread breadcrumb trail to find this because I would have never found this uh, I don't know if more citizens would have died I'm, and so I typically wouldn't look up any information but I had this real fear that I was gonna get this terrible ending even playing as this good character and so it turns out you have to find a guy in the cemetery I went through the cemetery ran around for about 15 minutes I thought I did a good job searching every little area turns out I did I didn't find anything because you have to find a body that's outside the cemetery gates in this hole. So here we are. This should be it. Let's find out. There we go. Yep, strange formula. That, so that is why we're in the cemetery at the start. And now I can no longer complain about the headaches and migraine medicine. I should be able to go to the nearest hideout. Which looks like there's one right in front of us. And uh, learn it. So we'll do that real quick. I said, not my proudest moment. I usually uh, try to discover everything on my own without looking it up. I will say this: I didn't, uh, didn't watch a video. I just read it, so I wanted to be able to still try to find it on my own. Just I had a general location. So, <laughs> oh well. I am happy now, and now we can do everything. So, of course, we can make a bunch of these. Let's just update everything while we're here. I'll do five of that. How many is this using? Let's just make sure we got a couple of these. Three. And they're using the same thing, so we'll just go three and three. I don't think we have more than that as far as migraines go. I don't need this many colds. Alright, and we haven't even come across people that have these uh, afflictions yet. Looks like basically the tier road, they all share the same, so don't want to make any too much more of this stuff. Let's see, 15, ooh. Yeah, we'll wait on that one until we see it. All right. Die, fella! Okay, Mason, time to take your medicine. Come on, open Good the door. Good evening, Mr. Swanra. Is it you, Dr. Reed? Please come in. Well, after that first mesmerize, he likes me now. How do you see the world these days? All right, we just gotta... What can yeah, I do help for you, with your Doctor? migraine here. You seem unwell. Actually, I feel worse. Yes, I can give you a little something that has been proven. Effective. Thank you, Doctor. Did we gain anything? Yeah, we did gain something to learn. Your sister seems to believe this miracle elixir business is somehow doing you good. Loretta believes that keeping busy is what I need to be happy. And is she wrong? My sister is wrong about almost everything. But as long as she thinks she's in charge, she can be nice. All right. Goodbye. Take care, Mason. 
More house calls to make. Town at night. Let's see if uh, Camellia here has anything to say still. Probably Hello, not. Oh, we do have something. Oh, crap. Asking about Dorothy Crane. Tell me, Camellia, how are things now the dispensary is closed? We should really give her a piece of paper well. and pencil. Who is that walking up there? I've never seen anybody walking around here. It looks like a female. Oh, okay. Let's talk to you now that you're here in town. Shu Shin, I believe. Good evening, Zhao Shu. Wow, how, Dr. Reed. It's good to see you again. We got some new stuff. Do you still think about your departed husband? Of course I do. I'll never forget my beloved Matthew, but how do I put it? Now I miss him more than I want him back. I know what you mean. And I think it means you're getting better. Maybe death will take me the way it took Matthew. Without warning and without mercy. But until then, I live on. How do you feel now that you're back in Whitechapel? I've decided to follow your advice, sir. I won't forget the dead, but my efforts will be for the living. I've no doubt that is a wise and useful attitude in this part of town. To be completely honest with you, I am also doing this for myself. If I'm destined to survive this epidemic, I need my life to have some purpose. Can't tell which of these is actually I like. What are you doing with your time now that you're back in Maybe it's both. I've decided to help the poor and sick of the neighborhood by handing out medicine. That's very charitable of you. But why do it at night? I've noticed that the most desperate people tend to go out after dark. Hence my presence. Everyone in this game goes out at night. Can. It'd be funny if somehow you found out that there's this whole, like, double the amount of population that are all out during the day. Giving out medicine? How can you afford to do that? I am a rich widow, Dr. Reed. My departed husband left me enough money to last the rest of my life. I can spend some on those who don't have any. Why don't you move to a better neighborhood? I thought about it, I confess. To go back to the same empty home every day still hurts me a lot. Why stay here then? I am a woman of habit, Dr. Reed. And for now I am happier being useful in a familiar place than I would be anywhere else. Goodbye for now. Alright, thank you very much. And migraine guy. This way? Did I turn the wrong way? Who are you? Are you new? Oh, Darius Pettiscrew. He's the guy that was inside the room outside of Dorothy. He's probably got something to say about us. Good evening, Mr. Petrescu. Petrescu. What are you doing here? I could ask you the exact same question, Mr. Doctor. Now leave me alone. Are you living on the streets, Mr. Petrescu? And why not? Those who believe they'll be safe behind walls are blind. Why are you so aggressive? I remember the night you came here and convinced me to open my door to you, sir. I'd like to punch you right on your chops. Ooh, snap! What about your house? Settle my down, house get house is always open to any poor soul needing a roof. All my work here is lost now that Dorothea is gone, thanks to you. What do you plan to do now that Nurse Crane is gone? I'm not sure. Strange men came to see me after Dorothea's death with strange weapons and very odd stories. What kind of stories? Stories all Romanian children know. It was as if I was home again. Vampires, Mr. Doctor. Vampires. You believe them? Aren't you too old to hold a weapon or listen to scary stories? Yes, I am old and alone and will die soon, but if these stories are true, 
maybe I have found myself another cause. Tell me everything you know about Camellia, the mute florist. I do not believe in the afterlife, Doctor, but I'm almost convinced Camellia is an angel. Okay, we've heard she that. She volunteered to give out our medical leaflets. I heard what happened to Nurse Crane. How do you feel, Mr. Petrescu? Everything was going well until you arrived. <laughs> Dorothea helped people and will be sorely missed. Hey, don't remind me, man. She had it coming. I want to save London, too. She was a good nurse. I regret it, too. I wish she'd continued working at the Pembroke Hospital. She was a good nurse. So you put an end to the operation. Did you put an end to Dorothea as well? You seem to have I a lot on you. your chest, sir. What's wrong? I heard you are a famous surgeon. Tell me, what did you do to Dorothea? She was so bright, so clever. Then you made her an empty shell. I didn't use drugs or medical trickery, Mr. Petrescu. All I did was talk to Nurse Crane. I promise you. But what happened to her then? After you left, she did not even recognize me. And then she got careless and sick, and I had to flee. Goodbye, Mr. I think we're good there. All right, let's go fix this migraine. Good evening, right, medicine Mr. time. You don't seem well. Oh, there you go. Whoa. A gun, right. alcohol. Now we can get to the main mission. Lead spy, watch out! <laughs> There we go, I had to stretch my legs. Anybody here? 29 Pretty Orchard Street, this is it. What's in there for me? I don't even remember who sent us this way, but Sean Hampton? Who it was. Because main quest wise, that would have been it. As soon as I turned uh, the Sad Saint Sean, we were sent this direction. Right. It's right here, wherever it is. Whatever it is. Follow the blood trail. Oh, okay. Get in my old Batman mode. Oh shit. A little Speak 20. English, do ya? A little low. What's but <laughs> that's nothing new in this game. Alright, he ain't gonna survive that. I wish there was a way to, like, have a hold down. Maybe you have a stronger attack, but I, I just tried it there, but nothing happens. Oh, the blood trail. Ooh. Oh, we've actually been here before. But, oh, no. This poor lady wasn't there. Alright, let me grab a rat real quick. This is Can, uh, despicable. Think on an empty stomach here. Any more rats? Alright, here we go. All right, doing some uh, detective work. Her shoes and clothes are quite worn out. Okay, what is what does that tell us? The marks on this woman's neck were made by the fangs of a vampire. This is the very flower my mother tossed on Mary's coffin. Someone is targeting my family. Look at the details of the flower real quick. 
A muddy and stale flower, probably the one thrown on Mary's coffin when buried. And last but not last but not least. Only a golden watch in her pockets. Well, if you leave it, you feel like nothing changes. Let's take it. Put it back. No. I see you. Oh, who are you? You're new. Time to go right chasing then. after my. Uh, it's a sick game. I other... give no choice in the matter. Potential romanceable well character. I know there isn't any romances in this game. Well, to my knowledge, but when you're one of the only Eakin male vampires around. You gotta, anytime you spot one of these uh, other Eakins in the game, it's kind of the only choices you got. Alright, so we came here once before and there was something eventually blocked us, so maybe now the door is opened. Oh, I'm not ready for a boss fight. Hopefully she just wants to chat. Like I said, maybe go on a date. Nice romantic dinner. Preferably not human blood. Alright. This is new. Never been on this balcony. Jonathan. Whoa! What's that? How do you know my name? Oh, there she is! Oh shoot, she went all the way up on that roof! I won't let you escape. That's why I'm running so slow. Oh, I can't go to the roof like her. You're very fast, but I'll catch you. Okay, maybe she's going back to the wards of the grave. 40 some meters. They've I'm gonna get you. Butchered. These dead bodies were here when I came by a second ago to find those recipes. Alright. I can like still sense a presence. All these skull are dead because of me, too. Imagine I'm gonna have to go more to the right. Yeah, she's at where my uh, sister's grave was. This is cool. I, I I love all this stuff with the, uh, like I said, the more supernatural parts of this game. Dealing with other vampires. Oh, this is a big area. Oh, I got tons of XP just now for that. I hope I don't have to do a boss fight, but is there any rats? Sorry. Oh. Did I? Oh, oh no, some Joseph Larrabee needs help. Hold on, Joseph, I need a bite. Okay. I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm coming, I'm coming. Were you the guy in the Help church? Me, please. You. What have you done? Me? Hey. What happened? Demon. Hell Scourge. Son of Perdition. Vicar. Vicar. <laughs> Jonathan's no demon. He's just... Oh no, I hope that's not my mom. Returned from the dead. Like your Christ, Vicar. Mary. Is it really you? Oh, oh shit! It's me all right. Precious brother. What is mother doing here? I was not expecting this. I'm family. For a final reunion. All smiling, all dead. Thanks to the good Dr. Reed. Mary. Mother? Say hello to your She's son. had to been drinking blood to be more powerful than hello, me already. Jonathan. Mother, I... What do we have here, Mother? The prodigal son has lost his tongue. Our Jonathan always had the first and last word at dinner. The entertainer, the star of our show. I'm sorry. Let me explain. Shut up. It's my turn to do the talking. I have this nasty hole in my chest, Johnny. It needs to breathe. Of course. You can speak. My prayers went so long without an answer. My husband killed in France. My child carried away by the flu. My brother promising to return in his letters then disappearing in thin air. I went from hospital to hospital, 
cemetery to cemetery, grave to grave. I've lifted every stone in London, searching for an end to the nightmare. And there you were, in front of me, on a dark pier. The hunger had taken me. The joy to have finally found you. I longed for your arms, a final happy ending to so much tragedy, to tell me all would be well again, as you did when we were children. <laughs> it was this filthy dock where you greeted your sister. I dug a tunnel from my grave with my fingers and teeth. Mary. I thought I had murdered you. I tried to end myself. We've been through the same horror. We are a disease, Jonathan. A sickness that corrupts all it touches. All we kiss, and all we kill. Look at me. Admire your ilk. I'm so sorry. Apologies will not suffice. I demand reparation. I want a miracle. Are you a miracle worker, Dr. Reed? No? <laughs> I'll show you mine then. The family Reed, reunited and complete, living forever in a red sea of eternal love. Time to go, Mother. Say hello to my son for Mary, me. Mary, wait. I have made friends with vital knowledge. Vampires. We are not alone, Mary. With time, we can learn to live almost as we lived before. How long? What? How long will this masquerade continue? I've been watching you. All these knights in Whitechapel pretending you're still a doctor. You believe you're just fighting a disease. But it's you, the disease. Jonathan, you! I'm a scientist. I'll find a solution. Let our mother go, please. You're always the one to sway me to reason, Jonathan. But before, your motivations were always pure. Now you're tainted. Let her go! She has no part to play in this. Very well. Have you heard our good doctor? You can go home, mother. Go home and rest in peace. Yes, I'll go home and rest. <laughs> it's so easy to make them obey or forget puppets for our pleasure. I've seen you have your fun. You are mad. Oh, so that's what I am, Doctor. Mad. I was beginning to wonder. I I've been hearing these voices in my head. One in particular. That of my dead brother. This is the reason I must kill you. Not be a boss fight. Not for our poisonous kiss. Not even for the lies you tell yourself. No. It's so that smooth and wicked voice will stop ringing in my ear. Mary. No. Don't. Time to die, brother. And this time for good. To rot in this grave. <laughs> You come to me, Jonathan. Ooh, work out for that, so. Let me see there's rats I can eat here in the middle of the fight. Oh no! No! Oh fuck! Well, so much for there being a rat to eat. Oh my god! Oh shit! I hope that like. I can see that like screwing up an achievement for never having uh 
uh, killed an innocent. Assassin. Oh man. Uh, you did it again, Happy. I still feel more upset about Nurse Grace. Uh, oh, she must be resistant. I feel, I feel worse about Nurse Crane, but that's just funny right there. That poor guy. Oh, I thought I kept seeing a rap prompt. It was just, it didn't even give me an option. It was just like straight up did it. Abomination. Oh. There you go. That's a bad effect. Oh yeah, that's right, she resisted. Oh shit! I, what's funny is though, me sucking his blood, I just get 2,000 XP from it. Oh, she resists. So, whereas the other guy nullified it, she was just merely resisting it. So it actually did work that time. Ah, she went repairing instead of hit there. Hey, same, same deal. I bit that fucking guy. Oh man. I literally Brother, I'll say it at the end of this. It's time to bring this conversation to an end. Forever. You know I will not play this game. Go now, Doctor. Like a rabid dog. Or think you're performing an autopsy. Don't be ridiculous. I'll kill them all. The kind Dr. Swansea. The sweet little lass with hair of red. I am the Harbinger I hope, bringing your punishment. I hope she means uh, Ashbury, because Ashbury would just Don't kill her. see? This is not me. Flesh that never ages. All nightmare. No dream. Bring it to a close. Let me sleep. They couldn't kill you. I can forgive you. With a stake. Okay. Super upset about accidentally biting Larrabee. I thought during the middle of that fight I was just gonna shut the system off. That way I continue on my innocent run. Um but I like, especially for, for these video purposes, it's, it's more real. And if It wouldn't make for such a great episode if I just pulled off some shit like that where oh, I so did not mean to kill him. You heard me earlier in the fight. It's like, oh, there's a rat over there I can eat during the middle of it, which I thought was kind of strange. So then it's like, button prompt popped up. I was a good distance away. I was like, all right, free blood. Let's snack on a rat. And then I fucking dip, sink my teeth into the vicar therapy. Oh, man. I know I don't care about trophies too much, but uh, it sucks. I don't know if... if, if I, I really wonder if that was my first time. Like, if that one counts. Who knows? I, uh, I can't get stressed out about it. It's just... It happened. 
I play in a world of games where I pretend I can't reload a save. In this case, now we're far enough I can't. I can't go back and save. During that fight, though, I probably could have turned off the system and it would have started at the beginning of the fight and then we just wouldn't have killed him. But it makes for a, <laughs> it makes for a crazy situation, so we left him dead. Poor Larrabee. Blood. As I shed one last red tear for my fallen sister, I realized the entire world now revolves around this singular word. The epidemic that has stricken London is not the Spanish flu. It is transmitted through the blood via violent biting, turning survivors into frenzied immortals. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. I am a vampire, born anew into an age of death and pestilence. While plotting factions close in around me, I am sworn to find the source of this epidemic. I am convinced greater perils are still to come. I know the answers I seek are hiding in our blood. Ah, <sighs> all right. You know what? We'll, uh, I don't even want to go forward yet. We'll see you in the next chapter. So, 8,000 XP. Now, thanks to Larapis, charitable donation of blood we did gain 2,000 XP from him oh mother come on whatever um so when we come back in the next episode we'll spend those points we'll see uh what they want us to do here I guess read some mail we'll, we'll save that for the next episode <laughs> that was a good one I mean I was real shocked to see my sister Mary come back that, that was that was really cool to see uh, it's kind of sad, disheartening that it was I only got to see her for that 10-15 minutes of gameplay, and she didn't continue on as this antagonist. Um, but really cool to see her come back. I mean, I don't know if there's like a plot hole, but like, I drank her blood. I didn't give her my blood, so how the hell did she come back as a powerful Ekin, in my opinion? Um, yeah, so that's gonna do it. Um, I'm happy tangent. Please like or subscribe. I, I have uh, I've already planned out what I'm gonna be playing after this next game. Uh, hopefully start that here soon. Uh, we'll see you in the next episode.